Okay, today we're going to bite the bullet and install Java 20 on my MacBook Pro. I'm going to go to the Oracle website and specify downloads. We'll go to select Mac and I'm going to select the x86 DMG installer. I'll open up the installer and install it on my system. All right, says it's done. I will move the download file to the trash. I don't need that anymore. We'll open up a terminal and I'll check my version of Java. But currently, I'm still using Java 1.8. I will need to change path. I now see I have JDK 20 installed, so I will add that into my path. I will also change Java Home. So I will go through and I need to change my Java Home. And I need to change my path to use a new version of Java. Let's go to my home directory and let's edit dot zshrc and in this file I can see all the different versions of Java that I have I will go through and change by Java home and the new Java home will be JDK-20 And now I apply Java Home to my path, slash bin. You save this. I will exit this terminal and restart a new terminal. We now have a new terminal. And I will check our Java Home. And I will check the version of the Java that we're running. Now we're at 20. I'll do a Java C dash version as well. There we go. Quickly, we now have a Java 20 installation on my MacBook Pro. Let's take the next step and let's create a quick Spring Boot application. I'm going to call this Demo 20. And I'll select Java 20 for this. I will install Java 20 for the SDK. I'm going to select Spring Boot 3. I'll add Lombok and Spring Web. Let's create a project. We can quickly see that we have a standard Spring Boot application. I need to configure my JDK20. We'll run the project. I'll enable the Spring Boot Lombok annotations. It tells me there's another program up and running on port 8080. I will quickly go through and change the server port in the application property. I'll set these to 8200. Let's run the application again. I can now see it started up on port 8200. Let's go through and let's create a REST controller real quick. I'll create a package called controller. And in the controller package, I'll create a new class. Hello, REST controller. I'll annotate this as a REST controller. I will give it a request mapping of slash API slash V1. I'll create a get mapping slash hello. I'll do a simple public string, say hello, and I'll return hello spring boot three from JDK 20. 
We'll stop this and restart it. We'll go into Postman, HTTP, localhost 8200, slash API, slash V1, slash hello. We get back, hello Spring Boot 3 from JDK. There we go. I've now transitioned to Spring Boot 3 and JDK 20. Hope you enjoyed the video.